hey guys now in this video let's discuss more about the keys in key vault so first we will have a quick overview then we will see a simple demo where we will use the key from azure key vault to encrypt our storage account and for this we will use managed identity so guys don't worry even if you don't know what is managed identity so this is going to be really a simple demo so basically why we need managed identity is because again to encrypt our storage account we are fetching the key from azure key vault right so that means our storage account should have the required permission to access the keys from this key vault right so such required permission to this storage account we can provide using managed identity now is what is key so again key it is used for cryptographic operations in simple words it is used for encryption okay so for example we can encrypt our storage account using key and we can fetch this key from azure key vault so i guess it was quite simple to understand right and now let's see the demo so guys we are in azure and obviously the first step is to create the storage account right and creating the storage account is simple and straightforward process so basically you have to just enter the required details so let's assume you have entered the required details and now while creating storage account we are under this tab that is encryption so you have to select this option that is microsoft managed keys so what i mean is while creating this storage account let's keep this encryption type as microsoft managed keys okay and let's assume we have created the storage account now guys this is our key vault and again we have created this key vault in our earlier video then under it under objects let's click on this keys and as of now we have added one key and again adding key in key vault is simple and straightforward process and now we want to use this key to encrypt our storage account right so so let's open our storage account on the left hand side let's go down and under security plus networking let's click on this encryption and obviously as of now the encryption type is this microsoft managed key right so here let's click on this customer managed keys and here obviously we have to select the keyword and the key so let's click on it let's let's select keyword and from this let's select our keyword and now let's select our key that is storage account encryption key see this one and here let's say select and now i will say save and see we have got the error so it's because this storage account does not have the required permission to access this keyword so obviously we need to provide the required permission right so let's go to our keyword now guys in this keyword let's click on this access control i will say add add role assignment and we have to select the role so here i will type crypto and guys can you see this role that is key vault crypto officer and it allows to perform any action on the keys of a key vault so let's assign this role to our storage account so let's select it i'll say next and now here we have to select managed identity so in simple words managed identity means we are selecting or we are assigning this permission to our storage account so let's select managed identity i'll say select members now from this drop down see this storage account and let's select our storage account and i will say select review plus assign review plus assign 
So we have successfully added this role assignment. That means now our storage account has the required permission to access this keyword. But guys, it may take a few minutes for this role assignment to get reflected. So I will simply pause this video for a few minutes. Okay guys, so we have waited for a few minutes and now let's go to our storage account. So again guys, we are in our storage account under encryption and here again, we are trying to select now encryption type as customer managed key. So here, let's select our keyword. And let's select the key from this keyword. And now I will say select. See earlier it was not working and now let's try to save it. And see now it says successfully updated. That means our storage account is now encrypted using the key from this keyword. So that's it guys. Thanks. Thanks for listening.